Hi there, here's another 3D uh, trig application example. So here we have uh, a sketch and the description is that the angle of elevation from a point C, so there's point C, someone is standing there and looking up at um, uh, point C on the ground to the center, at the center of the goal post to the highest point A of the arc, okay, so there's point C, this is a goal post, it's looking at the highest point A of an arc, okay, uh, directly above the center of the Moses Mabida soccer stadium, so this is apparently a soccer stadium, there's the goal post, someone is standing there looking at the arc, there's an arc over this Moses Mabida soccer stadium, and the center, the highest point of that arc is exactly in the middle of the soccer field, okay, uh, and this angle of elevation is 55 degrees. Very easy from the sketch. The soccer pitch is 100 meters long and 64 meters wide as prescribed by FIFA for World Cup stadiums. So PQ should be 100 meters. They also say that right here. As well and as the, the width here from P to wherever the other part of the uh, or the um, other outline is on this side would be 64 meters however we're only working with half of the soccer field because he's standing in the middle of the goalpost so halfway there PC should therefore be 32 or CP should be 32 meters okay um, and that's it first of all what do they ask us to determine the distance AC so there we have a C. Now AC appears in a few triangles, okay, so um, AC is, we can either say, well, AC is in triangle ACP, okay, so that triangle, but in this triangle we have too little information. Yes, this is 90 degrees. Remember what we said before, that if we have a, a, a vertical line, there's a vertical line, okay, down here to M, that's the center of the stadium okay this is the the exact center of the stadium and uh, this distance here we have that that's 32 32 meters but then we also have this in this triangle uh, let's do that in a different color we in this triangle here here that is the exact center of the soccer stadium if we drop a line straight down it gets there that line is then connected to where the person is standing in the center of the goalpost there's a triangle in this triangle we know that this is half the distance isn't it cm is 64 meters okay no i lie 50 meters sorry cm is pq is 100 meters so cm which is the exact center of the stadium must be 50 meters okay this is also 90 degrees because it's a vertical drop on a horizontal plane so in this triangle we only have this distance and the 90 degrees there in this triangle however we have this distance cm as well as the angle as well as the 90 degrees we need three pieces of information to make a call so we're going to use that triangle so in triangle a c m okay we want to know the distance of a c so that's the hypotenuse so we want the hypotenuse we have the adjacent we have that cos of angle c is equal to AC, uh, no, CM, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is AC. So if we want to solve AC, we multiply AC on both sides. Then we see here on the right hand side there's no more AC on the left hand side, and AC, which we want alone, so we're going to have to divide with cos C. So divide both sides with a cos C, and then what do we get? Okay, then we get that AC is equal to cm over cos angle c now let's substitute cm we said was 50 degrees uh, sorry 50 uh, meters so not degrees 50 meters 
and cos and angle C is 55 divided by cos of 55 degrees. Okay, and let's calculate that. Okay, so we have 50 divided by 55 cos gives me 87.17. So AC is 87, comma, yep, comma, 17. Since we round it, let's use approximation signs. Approximately 87.17 meters, approximate to two decimal places. Okay, second question. Okay, let x equal angle CAP calculate x. Let's see, where is that? Angle CAP. So if we were to go from here, okay, from C to A to P. Okay, so it's that angle made by ang uh, side lengths AP and AC. This is angle x. We have to calculate angle x. Okay, well, that angle only appears in one triangle, in this triangle, APC. APC, that's a triangle it appears in. What information do we have? Well, we have the 32. What else do we have? Okay, well, in the previous question, we calculated AC. Okay, AC, we, we got this side length here. So now we have three pieces of information, don't we? Yes, we have a side length. We have another side length, 87.17. 87.17. So we've got two side length and a 90 degree angle. When we have 90 degree triangles, we may use sine, cos, and tan. So what are we trying to calculate? We This is our angle we're trying to calculate. This angle right here is what we're trying to calculate. And relative to this angle we have the opposite side length and we have the adjacent side length there's the 90 degrees the opposite and the adjacent so AP this length AP would have been the hypotenuse we don't have the hypotenuse only opposite and adjacent which means we are working with tan so we'll say okay well tan of angle A is equal to opposite which is CP over adjacent which is AC so CP over AC. Then we would say, okay, well, we don't know what A is. So tan of A is still unknown, is equal to CP was 32 meters. That's, that's that distance right there, 32. AC is what I calculated in my previous step, is 87,17 meters. So what do we get? Okay, so 32 divided by 87.17. Okay, is this the angle? No, no, this is the reference angle. So that's my reference angle. So to find my angle A, I have to use the inverse of that. Well, it's not my reference angle, I like, sorry. <laughs> this is my ratio. I still have to calculate my reference angle by using inverse 10. Okay, there's my reference angle, 20 uh, degrees and comma 15, 16 actually. So approximately 20 comma 16 degrees. Okay. Is it possible that this was just the reference angle and I had to go and calculate the other possibilities? Okay. Well, where else is tan equal to, um, is, e e well, where else is tan positive is at 180 plus, okay? Now, no triangle can have an angle that's bigger than 180 degrees, so it's impossible. For tan, working in triangles, and we find the reference angle, that reference angle is indeed the answer. We don't have to go and calculate the alternatives. Okay, I hope you got me, uh, you got what I meant there. Okay, so this is, that is 20, 16 degrees. Cool. Last question. Okay, so they tell us that a camera is positioned at point D. 30.41 meters directly below A. Calculate the distance from D to C. Okay, so there is point D. So the distance, it's 30.41 meters below point A. So 
that distance is 30.41 meters and they're asking us to go and calculate the distance from D to C okay so this distance okay, choose a darker color okay that distance there that distance there okay so again that distance appears in two triangles it's in this triangle C M D and it's in the triangle A D C which triangle do we have more information of well we have A C that distance right there I, I this this is getting messy isn't it okay we have that distance there we need three pieces of information we have that distance there and um, is that it I think that's it okay we need three pieces of information okay do we have this angle right here okay angle A um, not immediately but if we look at the bigger triangle look here okay so we have A C M in triangle A C M we can easily go find that angle because we have two other angles already so the third one is just 180 minus those two or 90 minus that one because it's an, a right triangle so let me do it here where, where I'm still close to the sketch so in triangle A C M triangle or angle A a is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 55 degrees so I find that's equal to 40 no a lie 35 35 degrees okay so this angle right here is 55 uh, no 35 that's 35 degrees so do I have three pieces of information now yes I've got a C a side length I've got that ang that si uh, angle yes and I've got this side length so now I can go and talk about triangle in triangle a C D a C D what do I have okay in triangle A C D now I'm either going to use the sine rule the cosine rule because I A C D is not a 90 degree triangle okay it it's definitely not so in this triangle uh, I'm trying to work out B C that's the, the side length I'm trying to work out do I have an opposite pair uh, unfortunately I don't because I have this side length okay let's color that light now I've got that one and I want its opposite I don't have any other angle so I won't have another opposite pair which means I am going to use my cos rule which means that CD squared is equal to okay AD squared AD squared plus okay AC squared a C squared minus two times A D A C cos of the angle that's opposite C D, which is angle A. Angle A. I can substitute. What do I get? Okay. A D squared. A D we calculated no, A D is given 30.41. 30.41 four one squared plus AC was calculated that's what we calculated in this step okay plus eighty seven comma one seven squared minus two times thirty point four one times eighty seven comma one seven times cos of A A we just calculated was thirty five degrees okay there is our calculation so CD is equal to the square root of whatever answer we get here okay so what do we get 30.0 oh, 30.41 squared plus 87.17 squared minus 2 times 30.41 times 87.17 
times k uh, cos of 35 35 cos okay that's it is equal to okay 418.49 uh, 4180.495 Etc. 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 I'm not rounding. Only in my final answer. So now, when I take the square root, I'm going to round. Okay, so take the square root of that. Sixty-four point sixty-six. Sixty-four comma sixty-six meters. Isn't that a beautiful question? I really enjoyed that. See you in the next one.